Hello everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. It's still Dr. Nubi Agata. Welcoming you for a greater mathematical experience. We continue in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We call on God, the Almighty, wisdom himself, to be with us and see us through. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, we are going to continue with six. In the previous video, we started with that. But there are more to say about it before we go into serious problem on that. Let's look at this. I want to look at universal set. What's universal set? Universal set is the set that contains all the elements under discussion. That is, it is relative to a problem. For a particular problem, you have a universal set that contains the element under discussion. You denote it with this. You can use this to denote it. Or you can use anything and tell us that that thing is a universal set. It's a matter of notation. Okay? Now, we have equality of sets. Equality of sets. We say that two sets are equal if they contain the same elements. If they have the same elements, if all elements in A is in B, we say that they are equal. Okay? That is, we can write this, we say A is equal to B if, mathematically we write, if for all X in A, X is in B and for all B in B, B is in A. Okay? Don't be afraid of what I have written on the board. It's very simple. I explain it to you. This is for all. For all. That is all. Every element. Every element in A is in B. And every element in B is in A. When such happens, we say that uh, A is equal to B. Good. Example. Let's have an example. Say A is equal to 1, 2, 4. And uh, B is equal to 4, 1, 2. Okay? Observe that all elements in A is in B. All elements in B is in A. So we can confidently say, authoritatively say that A is equal to B. Or B is equal to A. Okay? Now, we talk about subset. Subset. Given two sets, A and B. It's like we're using A and B so much, eh? Remember, it's just notation. It's just notation. It's just a name that we decide to call it. If we want to call it, we want to Want us to call it Peter and Paul or whatever we we'll call it. We'll call it. All we know is that we are using it to denote uh, sets. Okay. So if you are giving two sets, okay. Let me now change. Let me say G and the H. If you are giving G and the H, you say that G G is a subset of H. If what happens, if every element in G is in H, if every element in G is in H, we say that G is a subset of uh, H. Okay? And we'll write, mathematically, we'll write that G is a subset of H if what? 
for all, let me call it G, or anything you want to call it, anything you want to call it, say X, I like X, hmm? for all X in G, X is in H, okay? That's the condition for G to be a subset of a H. Okay? Let's give example. Okay. Given these three sets, given the three sets, observe that every element in G here is in F. G is in G is in F. C is there, D is there. So we can write, we have that G is a subset of uh, F. Okay? Observe that G is also a subset of uh, N. G is also a subset of uh, N. Okay? Observe also that F is a subset of uh, N. L is a subset of uh, F. This tells you something. Okay? F, subset of L, L, subset of F. That's telling you that F and L are equal. That they're equal. Okay? Now, but look at this. G is a subset of F, is also a subset of L. Now, we have what we call proper subset. Proper subset. A set is said to be a proper subset of the other set if all element in that set is in the other set but not every element in that other set is in the set okay look at what what the what we mean a set a is a proper subset of b if every element in a is in b but not but there is an element in b that is not in a then it becomes a proper subset and if such happens, we now denote it with this. Remember, generally we can denote a subset with this one, whether proper or improper. But if it is proper, we denote it with this. There is no chance of being equal. Because there is something in the superset that is not in the subset. That particular set, what is the superset? The superset is that particular set of which the set in question is a subset set. Okay? Now, from what I have explained now, can you see that G is actually a proper subset of F? G is actually a proper subset of F. So we can write B. G is a subset, proper subset of F. Yes. Why? Because there is something in F that is not in G. What is that? A is not in. Okay? So, mathematically, we can write that A, A is a subset of, is a proper subset of B, if for all X in A, X is in B, and there exists, there exists Y in B such that Y is not in A. Okay? Please, when I write these things, don't be afraid of them. It's what you can learn. It's what you can. It's what you know already. You know them already. What we mean, look at this. For all, I'll, I'll show you that before. That is for every element in A. That's every element in, in A is in B. And there exists. This symbol represents there exists. That is there is. There is. We can find. We can find an element in B such that. This one is such that. Such that. Remember, there are many ways you can write such that. Such that. There are standard ways. Such, such that. You can write it this way. Such that. You can write it this way, such that. You can write it this way, such that. You can say such that. Okay? They are all okay. Okay? Now, so.
So we are saying that A is a proper subset of B if every element in A is in B and there is an element in B that is not in A. Just existence of an element does it. You don't have to find two elements in B before you can say, just get one element in B that is not in A. That does it. That's saying that the A is a proper subset of uh, B. Okay? And when that is done, when, when we have such a uh, situation, we can use this proper subset. Okay? Now, let's talk about the power set. Power set of a set. Every set has its power set. What is that power set? Hmm? Power set is a set of sets. What are the type of sets that are inside that set? It is a set that contains all the subsets of a set. The set that contains all the subsets of a set. That is what we call the power set. Okay? So power set of A is denoted by this. Or you can write it this way. Power set of A, of a set A. Good. Okay. So now, given a set A, given a set A, let's look at the power set of that thing. Say A, let A be equal to the set A, B, C. Okay? What is the power set? We say that the power set of A is the set that contains all the subsets of A. Now, Remember, or note, that every set is a subset of itself. Every set is a subset of itself. Why? Because every element in B is in B. So it's a subset of itself. It's by default. Okay? More so, empty set is a subset of every set. Empty set is a subset of every set. Why? Because give me any, any element in empty set. I will show you that it is in the set. Eh? So, if you don't give me any element in the empty set, that means it's because it's in the set. That's why you don't give me. So, every set has empty set as is a subset. Okay? So, we have that those two. The, the, set, the set itself and empty set. Then we can get other subsets of that set. Okay? So, let's try to write out the power set of A. Here is equal to the set of set. Set that contains one, the set, the whole set itself, okay? The empty set, remember you can write it this way or you write the other notation for empty set. Then A, B, A, B. B, C, A, C, I have a single tense. Let's see if we have exhausted all the subset of it, of this particular set. Is there any subset? Is there any subset of this particular set that we are missing? Let's check. We are missing none. So I close the bigger bracket. It's a set of uh, sets. Okay. Now, there is one interesting thing about this. Let us count the number of uh, the number of elements. Remember, elements of elements of power sets. The elements of power sets are sets. Okay, let's count the number now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there is one interesting thing. There's one interesting thing. The cardinality, the cardinality of the power set, the cardinality of the power set is somehow related to the power, this power here, power of A. Okay? How? If the cardinality of A, cardinality of A is equal to this, okay? That's how we write cardinality of A. If cardinality of A is equal to B, okay, it, it, we mean that the cardinality, that the cardinality of the power set of A will be equal to T 
2 raised to the power b. Okay? That's the number of elements in the power set will be 2 raised to the power b. What is b? b is the cardinality of the set itself. Observe that it is true here because what's the cardinality of this a here now? This particular a on the board, the cardinality is equal to 3. Is it not? Good. Um, what is 2 raised to the power? B? 2 raised to the power 3. Is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 equal to what? 8. Okay? Which is what? That's the cardinality of the power set. Cardinality of the power set. Cardinality of the power set. Maybe I can write it this way. Cardinality of the power set. 2 raised to the power 3. Equal to 8. Okay? Alright. So, having said this, I want us to stop uh, stop it here and uh, I want to call on you to please subscribe to this channel for a more interesting experience in mathematics if you have not subscribed okay we thank god for today and we hope to see another lesson thank you so much bye